Well, the Jazz hope the Mike Conley trade can top the Hornacek trade as the greatest in franchise history. And speaking of trades, after sending their first round pick to the Grizzlies, we didn't expect much from the Jazz on draft night. Yeah, they sure woke up, right? They, they were pretty quiet until late in the second round when the Jazz made two trades and came away with three second round picks. It began with a trade with the Indiana Pacers for the number 50 pick where the Jazz selected Jarrell Brantley of the College of Charleston. He stood out in the Jazz final pre-draft workout, a 6'7", 255-pound power forward, a 7'1 wingspan. He averaged 19 points and 8 rebounds as a senior and shot 35% from the three in college. Today, he's a gym rat. With the 53rd pick in the 2019 NBA Draft, the Utah Jazz select Justin Wright Foreman from Hofstra University. Yeah, Justin Wright Foreman, a 6'2 point guard of Hofstra. He was the Colonial Athletic Association Player of the Year and an honorable mention All-American. Was second in the nation in scoring, averaging 27 points per game. Shot 51% from the field, 43% from three-point range, and 86% from the stripe. He posted a video of his reaction to getting drafted on his Instagram page. I got enough Let it out, bro. I don't believe You got it. You did it. You worked for this. A dream is now a reality, an emotional reaction. When his name was called in Brooklyn, the family's going crazy. He was able to celebrate that moment with family and friends. With the 58th pick in the 2019 NBA Draft, the Golden State Warriors select Mie Oni from Yale University. Yeah, the Jazz weren't done. They make a trade with the Warriors for the number 58 pick and select Mie Oni of Yale. The 6'6 junior guard was the Ivy League Player of the Year. Averaged 17 points per game, a 37% three-point shooter, and as you can see, also very athletic. He knows how to finish at the rim. Here is Jazz GM Justin Zanuck on the Jazz Draft. There is a saying, like, if you go play in college and you're good enough, the NBA will find you. And these guys were all known commodities. They've all had very successful careers. So it wasn't something that they just came on the radar, maybe on a public level or a, you know, a, a media level. But from a scouting level, we've known about these guys for a while. With our roster, and again, we'll continue to be aggressive, it's, it's open. You know, there's, there's a chance that we, we open a lot of roster spots. So what we tell our guys is come in, come compete. Um, will have a developmental path for you that could be any number of ways that could be on the roster it could be um you know part of the g league two-way any of those things could be on the table just let's get you in here let's get our coaching staff around you and let's have a good summer and play and then we'll work with them after that to kind of figure out the best developmental path <laughs> 